Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Doom Mountain and today I will be starting a brand new mini series on my channel. Now this mini series is highly, highly uh, copied after Impulse and Skizzleman's Naked and Scared because I really love their hard, their ultra hardcore um, challenges in Minecraft and I feel like you know, unlike the hundred days challenge, you know, set up by Luke the Notable, I feel as though this one should be getting, you know, played around a bit more because it is quite a bit of a more complex uh, gameplay. And so, for those of you who uh, do not know what uh, Impulse and Skizzleman's Naked and Scared is, well, you have 21 days to complete a randomly selected task um, in ultra hardcore Minecraft, which means, you know, if you lose some health, you don't naturally regen it. But, you know, and if you die, you're also dead. That's it, the end of the challenge. Now, if that wasn't hard enough as it is, you can come and see over here that I've copied over the rules from their season 26. That's right, I'm going to be linking the, their channels in the description, and if you want to see how this plays out, go and check over there where they have 26 seasons of this running. But our rules are you cannot sleep away the night, which for them on Java, they get to do a little dip into the bed and reset the phantoms count. I'm playing on bedrock, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. So day four might be interesting, or night four, I should say. We can't trade with villagers to try and get any goodies or better benefit ourselves in any way. We aren't able to craft any armor, so we have to scavenge and find anything from chests, you know, we can't trade from villages, so it's going to be all chests and different random loot that we can find from it. We also cannot craft anything that can regen any of our health. That means golden apples, uh, potions, health, health potions, suspicious stews. We can't, uh, you know, craft any of that sort of stuff. And when you die, you're dead. The challenge is over. So that's pretty sort of standard rules in it. Now, I, as I said before, I'm on bedrock and I do not know how to do commands very well. So I am going to have a timer set next to me because one Minecraft day is 20 minutes, day and night. So I'll be having that timer running along to make sure that every single episode is one day. And whereas 21 days to complete whatever the challenge is in this book behind me. So I'm gonna pick up the book read the challenge, and then we're gonna walk out over here, look up into the sky, and we'll be sent into our first world to complete our challenge. So, whew, let's see what it is. All right, let's read the book. The challenge. You must find and equip a full set of armor that has any armor trim added to it. Good luck. Okay, so not only am I not allowed to craft armor, I now must find a full set of armor gear as well as getting trims, so... Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. All right, I guess let's start our challenge. Put the book over here. I'm gonna walk out. Look up into the sky. And let's do it. Send me in. Let's go. Our timer has started. We're in. Okay. Our challenge, we need to get a full set of armor and add a add, add any trim to it but didn't say exactly what trim I think our first bet might be to make sure we've got some food because uh, I don't want to oh okay I'm not following you down the hole okay let's go beat the, break this tree Whew, this is a little bit nervous I mean I'm used to playing in hardcore but uh not where you know my heart's not gonna regen. It's a little bit more, a little bit more stressful. Um, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, let's while I'm just collecting up some of this basic stuff, let's talk about how where, where this has come from. So as I said, this is massively inspired by Impulse and Skizzle Man's series of Naked and Scared, which they have you know 26 seasons of this running. So that is just like that's it's amazing like dedication to it, and you know some of the stuff that they do, the challenges that they get is just unreal so like I, I've really been inspired to sort of just have a crack at it you know I mean everyone gives a go at the moment with a hundred days you know surviving and that sort of stuff and I kind of feel as though this might be a really cool you know challenge to attempt and I am watching my step because I know that with no armor oh, Jesus a skeleton already there okay I just want to collect up some of this dirt please Mr. Skelly 
you stay down there and don't realize where I am. Alright, it's probably also good that um, if I try and find a village first up, um, ruined portals are going to be good because sometimes you can get uh, some gold armor in there. It didn't say it had to be good armor, it just said I had to get some armor. So um, <laughs> let's try and get that. Get up a bit of basic tools. I'm keeping my eye on that skeleton to make sure he doesn't clock onto me. Um, yeah, as I said at the intro too, um, no sleeping through the night. So I think it's after three nights of staying awake, phantoms become a problem. And I don't know if on bedrock, uh, just dipping in and out of a bed resets the phantom count. So this could be a little bit interesting seeing if... Um, uh, we're gonna have phantoms at play at night because if that's the case geez, this is gonna get even more intense Because um, if I find armor, I don't know if you can put trims on leather armor, but if I find armor I don't want it to break before I can get a full set and uh, you know get some stuff on it Okay, let's craft up a axe and another pickaxe Um Let's make a furnace in case we need that. All right, let's get up. Oh, why did you just spawn in there? No. Okay, we got to get away from this area. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Now. But that's another thing too. Mobs drop armor if they're wary and die. Yes, it's a village. Okay, let's try and go over the hill. I don't want to take any damage if necessary. Um, take everything slow and steady. Watch where you're going. Get away with that village. Sweet. We're going to get wheat, get some hay bales, and make ourselves bread. Because as you can see, my hunger is already starting to go. All right. Um, no, no, don't waste my time killing ch animals. I'm just gonna eat the bread. I don't think I'm gonna need pumpkins. We can't trade with villagers, so there's no need to really collect that up. Um, okay, quickly get to that wheat. Whew. Hello, guys, how's it going? Just gonna come up and collect some of your hard earning harvest. Oh, you don't mind? Oh, sweet. It's good to see that we have uh, sharing villages. Oh, it would seem that I've forgotten to turn off the saving icon. <laughs> All right, I might fix that in between days, but uh, let's first off get ourselves some bread. All right. Nice. Okay, munch down some bread. We don't want to be losing hearts to hunger. Okay, check these chests. Let's see if we can get any of our armor straight up from here. That's a bed. Um, and there's no need to really worry about trying to reset your spawn point because uh, as the rules stated, it's pretty clear. If you die, it, it's game over. You're dead. Now, ooh, is this house going to have anything? You can hear the brewing thing, but I can't, I can't make any potions. And I don't think they store any. Okay, there's an iron golem I want to try and avoid. So far, I'm not seeing any chests. Come on, guys. What do we got here? We got looms. We got wool. Oh, come on. Don't be a bust. Really? Oh, wait. <gasps> a ruined portal. Sweet. Okay, that was one of the things that I said we could look at for um, armor. Okay. Oh, and can these get golden apples? Getting a golden apple will be really, really good for us. We can't craft them. Okay, don't step on the magma. Okay, there's a chest. Yes! <laughs> and a gold apple, come on! <laughs> okay, let's first off get this bit of armor on. Okay. Just because you found a golden apple doesn't mean you can be slightly stupid with it. Be 
careful. Watch out. Is there another chest around here? Okay. Alright, so far, so far, we're going alright. We're uh, seven minutes in, and don't just run onto that. Okay. I would really like to see if there's anything else in this village. Now, because there's two of these church things, is that like the two villages have melded to one? Excuse me, sir, do you know if you are two villages as one or if you just are more... Well, I wasn't going to say more sophisticated. You don't have any chests for me to loot at. Or maybe you've just got more uh, of a... Is, is there three churches? I've never seen a village with three churches before. Is that common? I'll tell you what's annoying is you guys got no chests, no loot. More wheat though, I'll take that. Or as much bread as possible. Okay. I think this village is a bust. We're gonna have to make a move on. We wanna get as much um, sort of ground covered during the day because I do not think we're going to be able to stand a night. Like, we're going alright so far. We don't need to, uh, mess things up. Okay, you guys have nothing. I, I do not feel confident myself to tower up and attack that guy. Oh, I didn't mean to trade. Click into you. You got a... Ooh. Damn it, no chest. Actually, I'll tell you what you guys do have though, it's torches. You may not have had anything for me to loot in chests, so I will take all of your torches. <laughs> Good thing this, uh, this challenge doesn't have anything to do with villagers, because I don't need you guys right now. Um, how many torches have we got? Should I keep? I'm thinking I should keep the golden apple on the hot bar just in case something happens. But I don't want to, I don't want to just waste it, you know. Depending on where we can get armor trims. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Is there? Alright, nothing over there. Can I scope anything from here? Alright, sun's starting to go down. Kind of wanting to head in that direction because it looks a little bit more open. So I'm not confident in my skill to take on that iron golem. So I'm I should, probably should make myself a stone sword. I thought we might, you know, get lucky and see something that we could actually use, but no. All right, uh, let's get some some form of uh, set up on our thing. All right. Do I venture away from? Yeah. Okay. See what I am gonna. I'm gonna venture a bit. Maybe we might be able to find a cave that's not so polluted with uh, danger. Okay. Yep. Okay, gotta watch out for those sort of holes. Watch out for those. I just want to find a nice little oh, ah creeper. Okay. Um, another creeper up there. Okay. Tell you what, I'm probably gonna have to try and get down somewhere soon, especially before a kid comes in. So zombies are ready. Oh, and a skeleton. No, skeletons are gonna mess me up. Okay, I'm gonna have to stay near the village. All right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what, we'll, dig, we'll pick a house here and we'll just dig down from it. No, it's not like it's uh, now biting me in the butt that I came and took all their torches, is it? 
Not at all. Oh, oh, oh. I guess let's just try and dig down from here. <laughs> oh. okay, bread is not the most uh, nutritious or saturated food, but um, okay, we're just going to try and dig down. This will get us some building blocks so that we can tower out of possible situations later on. I've got to deal with the torches there. Good, good. All right, let's see if we can dig up some coal. Ah, coal and iron. Try and avoid the mess that I've made down there. And now, for those who are fans, diehard fans of the Naked and Scared series, you will know that in previous seasons they've had no strip mining. Um, I don't believe this is strip mining, I am just searching for a cave. I'm not gonna need, I will not need copper. I want iron. Just clear out a bit of a space here. Collecting up some building blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we're doing. I don't think iron's going to be at this level, is it? I think I should have tried to go in those caves beforehand. And uh, collecting up some coal. We definitely are not going to be. Yeah, look, none of that's dropping off into a cave. And I can't hear cave noises. Which is weird, because there were so many holes and caves around us before. Okay, what's the chaos outside looking like? Okay, there is a spider out there. Give me the torch back. I have limited resources. Uh, Iron Golem's over there, so he seems to be chilled. Just casually jump up on the roof. Check out what my surrounding. Ooh, okay, skeletons are up there. I don't want them to clock me. Now, technically, yes, the spider could climb up the roof if he was wanting to get me. Ooh, we're gonna watch this. Yeah! Take him! <laughs> oh, sweet! Alright, I... How are we going on time? We've got five minutes. Five minutes. Can we get... I don't think we can get into a better position for the next morning. I know, do we try and make a mad dash for over there? Oh crap, that skeleton's now closer. He might be able to clock onto us. Yep. Get back in the house. Because I think he's back in the render distance. Okay. Okay. Um. Is a zombie. Okay. Ooh, the iron golem's making his way around. Is he going to see this zombie over here? He is. Okay, he might be able to clear a pathway for me. He might have just cleared me a pathway. Oh, but there's all dense trees over there. I don't know what to do! <laughs> I can't sleep away the night. I don't have... Oh, jeez. Hello, sheep. You just scared me. I thought you were the skelet... What was that noise? You fine. Oh, yeah, take out the zombie with a hat. <laughs> okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that your iron golem kills k will drop. Oh! There's a horde of... Do I just make a run for it? Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's just run it. As long as there's no... Oh, shit, there's a skeleton right there. Okay. Ready to pick up some arrows. Okay, I'm just running. Where am I running? Oh, right into a skeleton. A spider. Zombies. Uh-oh. Get to the water. Get to the water. 
Okay, we can do this. We've got enough time. We're going to be fine. We are fine. Um, I'm partially thinking we try and get to the treetops. Yep. Okay, get up to the treetops. Okay. Now, I think we might be able to have a little bit more of a chance exploring. We stay up here. Not do stupid shit like that. I don't need a harder parkour. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that was going to... Um... Okay, the zombies are there clocked on to me. That could be a good thing if they stay on me and daylight hits. they can't get in the tree, I'll be fine. Right, let's break a few of these leaves. Um, I might try and chuck down a torch just to try and help you guys see. Um, if it's really dark, I'll try and lighten it, light it up in editing, but um, yeah, look, honestly, you guys didn't want to see me staying in that village. I didn't want to stay in that village. I wanted to risk it a little bit. Come on. We gotta just, oh, okay. Over there looks like we might be able to get some goodies. There's a creeper over there. The goodies I think that I'm going to need first off might be a water bucket. So I'm not going to lie, I am not used to not being able to make too fall of a too high of a drop. Okay. I am used to uh, jumping through trees. Okay, moon's starting to go down. We're, we're at least surviving our first day um, oh that guy has a hat so he will keep following me I don't think I've made any way for him to get up to me I want to see if I can get some iron there Ooh, crouch right, jump move across All right. traveling through the trees being as free as can be Right, here we go. Oh, we are almost. Oh no, I hear that skeleton. He's the only one that could probably clock me off of this. Burn, burn. <laughs> okay, I think we've got to get our way over there. But checking out by that, it's looking like we are getting close to the end of day one. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. How far can I travel in that 30 seconds? And can I not get hit by the skeleton? Come on. Uh, I mean, to be fair, actually, yeah, I don't... It's starting to get day. I don't need to stay on the trees. I'm just sort of enjoying it. <laughs> All right. Yes. Alright, we have made it, that is our timer, guys, thank you for uh, tuning in on this first episode of Do Mountain Attempting Naked and Scared, I haven't really workshopped the name yet, so uh, we'll see how it goes, I think, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, um, we've gotten really lucky, we managed to get one piece of armour already, and a golden apple, which... Honestly, I am super happy about that. Um, I know it might not have been the best while I was just hiding out in that uh, little village house, but uh, yeah, we did manage to get over here, and well, we've got to now start day two, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye!